morning and welcome to State of Business, our television's prime time news bulletin. I'm Adusha Thavapala Kumar. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Foreign Minister Ravikar Nanayaka resigns. And Minister Prema Jayanta criticizes Hambantata Port deal. Now the story is in detail. Foreign Minister Ravikar Nanayaka announced his resignation from his ministerial post today. He said he took this decision to safeguard the government and the party as certain parties are trying to link him to the central bank bond scam. After making the statement, Karunanayaka walked away from his usual seat and took a back seat in parliament. <laughs> Aparadaha Dushin Emirat in Turan Kirimata, when you and Satan Karnava, Mama Illa Simi Tir Negate, Dukin Ho Kampa in Noe, Adambari, Mama Mage Tanatura Kapakarane, May Sabaha Garutia when you, Mama Mage Tanatura Kapakarane, Ape Paksha Sabavin, Adrek and Mati Amaturu Saha Pasupela Manturu when you, Polama District Mage Tandakun when you, Ape Paksha Adrek and Silu the Novin. Mama Mage Tanatura Kapakarani, Sri Lanka, now Desapana, Sansut Yakwin win. Mama Mage Tanatura Kapakarani, Sila Chara, Palana, Kramiakwin win. Mama Mage Tanatura Kapakarani, Rate Pajatan Trava, the Palne, Arakshakara Ganima win win. Ape Pakshupana Katuma, Matakua, Mage Tanaturing, I mean, of it. Eight Janadi Poetua, Munaka Hilakian. In Janadi Poetuma Ave, Badada Vita, Enisa Badada Tamaya Pijanad and Janumdila, Mamai. Raja Sena at number to my Avastavidi, Elipia Baradu. I think at the Udeki and Krat Samara, Ila Last and Kelly, Ila Sela. The Honorable Rabbi Karnanaka has not yet been found guilty by any competent court and that is entitled to the presumption of innocence, that is, that is the entitlement of any person to his fundamental rights. Nevertheless, sir, Mr. Rabbi Karnanaka, Honorable Rabbi Karnanaka, has today tendered his. Resignation. I commend him for that bold step. He has done so in the interest of good governance, in the interest of the people of this country, and in the interest of the country itself. He has set an example which many others would do well to follow. Minister Susil Premajanta criticized the Hambantata Port Agreement, saying that it would not be beneficial to Sri Lanka. He said this addressing the media in Colombo today. <laughs> At the time, he tagged and I will let him make a time. Bell will be pain. Then catch it to do put Lanka or the gut, other than him. Other catch it to do with the tetan in the day the kilometer sack at the end of the day. We can even kill a noki water, Badukila Kiwahama, our Lucia Kapi Kaurutin Nani. Ned, better in the Kaurutin Nazia. Then our do Anunamak Yanakotan at the time pass in a quarter. Then make a Watinagamaki Guniki Vadivilla. Then, then Hong Kong, Hong Kong mo kadu ni. Britannia ada tu bicho Hong Kong, ekalasi mai urna apa? China aite kara gatta ek. China ane tu nene, then China mo kuda sak ni Hong Kong. Wenam panle ati pat. Hari, eka China beriti pati. Tieni sa metena tieni ratak ke katini prasya ati nabi. Me giusu ma sakas kiri me di api dana gan nene. Mangi ka arau dahar nadi kaki usiri ma sasve giusu me ni dewal kiuwe, kacite udio pati me ni kiuwe. Ape Ratata Vada, Vasida, Katanaka to make a Geniami, Wagaki, my Edat in the Palagin, Satin to Ganat, a thing. Now we have few cabinet decisions in brief. Cabinet has ratified the increase of fine to 25,000 rupees for seven road traffic violations. Accordingly, the fine will be increased for driving without a valid driving license, deploying persons without driving license in services, driving under the influence of liquor and drugs access of vehicle into a railway road unsafely and driving a vehicle without a valid insurance cover. Meanwhile, Cabinet has approved a proposal by Minister Nimal Siripala de Silva to create a public-private partnership to run the Matala Airport. The airport has incurred a loss of 15.6 billion rupees up to December end in 2016. It was revealed that an Indian firm has shown interest to run the airport as a PPP project. Let's take a look at more news after this break.
Welcome back. Veteran public and corporate sector personality Mano Tittavella has been appointed as the senior advisor to the Ministry of Finance and Media. The Finance Ministry in a statement said that the Cabinet has ratified the appointment. Tittavella is expected to assist the Minister in realising the government's economic and development agenda and drive its reform agenda. He will also continue to serve as the Secretary-General of the Secretariat for Coordinating Reconciliation Mechanisms, which is entrusted with coordinating transitional justice mechanisms and national reconciliation in Sri Lanka. He was the first chairman and the chief executive officer of the Strategic Enterprises Management Agency, which was an initiative that he promoted to bring better accountability, good governance and enhanced performance to the largest public enterprises in Sri Lanka. Let's take a look at stocks after this break. Welcome back. Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a positive note today. All share price index gained by 10.29 points to close at 6,516.32 and the S&P SL20 index gained by 3.73 points to close the session at 3,737.94. The turnover was 306.5 million rupees and 11.1 million shares were traded. Up next is Forex Rates. With that, we wrap up State of Business. We'll meet you tomorrow with more latest news. Until then, take care. Good night.